Autofill demonstrates the true power of Excel. If you have three data points that indicate a trend or pattern, Excel can automatically fill in the list. To do this, enter three data items in sequential cells, either the same row or column, highlight the three cells, and move your cursor to the bottom right. So I'm going to just delete this total for a second. So if we highlight these, and we go down, the white cross becomes a black cross, and if we click and hold, Excel might be able to fill... Nope. Okay, it doesn't recognize the A, B, C as a pattern, but if we do January, February, March, you can see we click, and as you can see, it previews the value we're ending on, and we just let go and it'll fill it in. Now, A, B, C didn't work, but if you're counting, one, two, three works. You can do that. Or let's say you want the odd numbers. You can see it automatically fills it in. Now, I see this as valuable if you've got dates. Okay, so let's format this format cells. And again, we can pick a date. Okay, I've got that backwards. Okay, so I want to show sequential dates first and then we'll come back to the other one. So as you can see, it automatically adds your dates for you. Now here's where it gets interesting. We've got the first of each month. If we come down here, you can see it continues. Now Excel's pretty smart. It goes up to December. It knows to start over in January. So again, this is an amazingly powerful feature. I'm going to delete this because it's not relevant to us at this point. Um, but if you've got long lists, Excel has a lot of functionality you can use in order to fill in the sequence. Um, and again, it depends what you're looking at, but if you, for some reason, need a long list, this is a great way to do it. So again, if you're looking at January, February, March, across, instead of typing in all the months, you've got these, you just carry it over.